So uh, I wanted to do an update video on the PS90. Um, this weapon system is a whole lot of fun. So anyways, let's just go through it. Um, I added a lot of different features, some things that are necessities that I feel for um, anything that you might uh, utilize to guard a house at night or whatnot for the noises and bumps and whatnot. So anyways, here you go. Um, sling. Uh, high quality sling here. This is a Urban ERT sling and uh, US made company. Uh, really nice sling. Very high quality. Um, there's a website right there. Um, well thought out type sling. Only one I could find that really fits this PS90 well. And uh, you just disconnect that. It comes off for cleaning. You can pull out the trigger group and all that. So it clips in and out. Really easy. It does have a quick detach feature here you rip this and it unclips itself so you can dump the rifle if you have to but um, and then it has a front support um, that locks in too so I set that aside um, and then if you want it also has an option for a belt anchor for this so when you're in a single point setup and you're not using this right off you can clip it back and it, uh, it'll lock the front end down with that onto whatever your web gear belt or whatever you have. So that's a really nice feature too. So uh, then obviously a weapon mounted light is a necessity. Obviously you're kind of limited on uh, where you're gonna be able to mount lights on a PS90. So uh, as you see here, we've got a Streamlight TLR1 HL. Um, and this was the rifle kit, so it ha has the backer to throw down a actual uh, remote switch on it. It also came with a standard um, toggle that, so you can mount it on a pistol, I guess, if you wanted. A little bright for a pistol, nice for a rifle. Um, it's a 600 lumen light, and it's all LED, so it's nice. With the uh, support hand, when you're gripping, your thumbs rest right there, and you can just kick it on on and then double click for strobe um, it's nice just velcro this pops off these are anchored here with zip ties as you see and that will uh, keep the wire out of the way of the magazines and then when it comes time to clean you just pop this the whole top slides off and you go from there um, on this what you're going to want to see um, it is kind of low here i am considering getting a um, enhanced um, charging handle just so you can get a little bit more meat on it. Um, you can still get to it on this side. Obviously it's ambidextrous, so if you need to charge, you can charge from the other side. But since I'm right-handed, I can charge here. Um, this doesn't really get in the way, um, but I would like a little bit more grip, I think. Uh, so we'll look into that. Uh, I did go with the FN rail to the side rail to lock it on. So it is a metal, really high quality rail. It's a little bit more pricey. There is a way um, to take a Magpul MOE rail. I think it's a nine slot and you cut off the ends and it'll the slots and the holes line up perfect. So you can do that. So, and then uh, optic I went with, um, I chose the Burris Fast Fire 3 and it's got the three MOA dot. Um, it is a, um, a all LED uh, setup, so it's all digital. It's not like the, um, as you see there, there's the dot. Um, so that's the dot. Um, there it is, a little bit more better focus. So the, uh, it's a real nice little pinpoint dot. I got the metal mount that protects it. So it has the ears up on both sides to keep you from banging it or clipping it off or something like that. So it's a real high quality sight, a uh, great alternative to like an RMR. The RMR I have is a eight MOA dot and that's on my pistol, the FNX 45. And I figured the tighter uh, three MOA dot would be better on a rifle for pinpointing for a little bit further distances. So um, got that all sighted in um, as you can see here in this photo, this is a uh, target that I shot at seven yards. Um, with that seven yards, um, I sighted in at 20, but at seven I was just verifying what the drop was because the uh, the 
Burris sits way high over the bore, so there's a there's that uh, offset that really kind of throws off the shot. So on this target, um, I had to aim at the top red box to get shots in on that bottom red box. So as you see, it's a couple inches apart. So that'll be uh, something you need to take into consideration when mounting an optic or even just the standard sights. There's that mechanical offset like AR-15s, but way more exaggerated on this weapon. So, but it's dialed in, as you can see, they're pretty good group there. So, and then the other major uh, upgrade here, not upgrade, uh, feature um, is this MFI um, uh, barrel shroud. It's like, it's like a faux suppressor. It looks like a suppressor, does nothing for suppressing, but it, um, you know, it looks better than just that pencil barrel. It does have four set screws. It just slides down. It's just a solid metal sleeve that basically fits perfectly snugly over top of the standard barrel. So uh, it does nothing for suppression. It's still loud as all get out, um, but it it uh, fits on there, looks nice, kind of gives it a different feature until I can get it SBR'd. It uh, doesn't look so, um, I don't know. I just find the PS90 to look odd with that really long barrel on the front. So someday I'll get the uh, SBR going and uh, hopefully afford that and it'll be pretty cool once I do that. So, but that's a little update on this little uh, weapon system. It's pretty fun to shoot. So. Uh, hopefully I'll get you guys some shooting videos coming up. Um, you know, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Ooh, no, no.